Oh, he threw a grenade. Call for reinforcements that will spawn, come to your position, and then join your group. Simple reinforcements script. Today I'm going to share with you a script that you can call reinforcements. And here is a mission that I built to demonstrate how to use this script and set it up. Let's go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to open scenario folder. Here we are in the mission folder and I'm going to bring up another mission that has the script in it and I'm just going to copy it and paste the script into the mission folder here. I'm going to zip up this script in a zip file and link it for download. When you get the script, extract the zip and put the script into your mission folder just like I did here. Let's open the script and review it. So the script is called Simple Reinforcement Script. It was written by Anthony from the UK and from here down are basically notes on the scripts usage and then of course you have the script itself below that. At the top here it says create a marker on the map where you want the reinforcements to spawn and name it reinforce. Activate the script with a trigger and put this into the triggers on activation box. So this code here you're going to copy and you're going to put it into a, a trigger so it could be a radio trigger it could be area trigger however you want to set it up down here is change the reinforcements unit side on line 28 for example change it to side create center east for Oakfort. what it's saying for line 28 which is here this is line 28 I added some notes here because he didn't have any so if you're going to play as blue four, then you would put west. If you're going to play as O4, then you're going to put east. If you're going to play as independent, then put resistance. And I, I added these notes here for that so you understand. That's one part of the script. Now the other part is right here. It says change the reinforcement units type on line 29. For example, change it to etc. So line 29, which is right here, you're basically going to acquire class names for soldiers that you want to spawn and you're going to put them into this box. This just expands on this and the last line here says change how close the unit has to be to join the player on line 52. So if we scroll down to line 52 you can see it says this is line 52 so Right here is 15 meters, and basically when the AI spawns, they will seek your position, and then within 15 meters of your position, they will join your group. That means you will have command of them. Let's start with the beginning. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the mission. We're going to create a marker and name it Reinforce, and then we're going to create a trigger and add this to the trigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, we're going to press Control C. We're going to go back in the mission. We're going to set up a trigger and a marker. Let's go to F3 triggers and we're going to choose a trigger without a size. We're going to place that right here and we're going to edit the trigger and we're going to go to activation and set the activation to radio alpha. We're going to set it to repeatable and then at the top where it says text we're going to put reinforcements. Then in the on activation box, we're going to press control V because we have the code on our clipboard. And that's all we have to do with the trigger. Now that we got the trigger set up, let's set up a position where the AI that we call that are going to reinforcements will come. So we're going to go to markers and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose a start marker and we're going to place it right about here. Here behind this mound is where the AI is going to spawn it. We're going to edit the marker and in the variable name box we're going to put 
reinforce. All right, you should see reinforce. All right, let's save that. Now that we have that set up, let's go back to the script because what's going to spawn is default vanilla blue four units and not units from max sog dlc units which i want to use so we've set up our marker and we set up a trigger with the code to call the script next we need to actually set the class names for the units that will spawn and come and re reinforce us if you look at the notes here you can see that it says change the reinforcements units type on line 29 so let's go to line 29 which is right here this is line 29 and right here is the name of the marker so if you wanted to use a different name all you need to do is just change the word right here to whatever you want. Now here are class names for the vanilla Arma 3 Blue 4 soldiers. And what we need to do is have soldiers from the mission for the side that I'm playing on. So I'm going to show you guys how to get class names for soldiers that you want. Just keep in mind here that one class name is one soldier. So right here we have four soldiers. Now if you only wanted two soldiers to spawn, then you're only going to put two class names. If you wanted more soldiers to spawn, then you're going to put more class names. So what I want to do is I want to put four class names. So what we need to do is we're going to go back in the mission, place some units that we want to spawn as for reinforcements, and then add them to the script here. So let's go do that now. Choose some units that are going to spawn and I'm going to start with a scout and then I'm going to choose a rifleman and then we're going to choose a machine gunner and then we're going to choose a grenadier alright so we have four units and once you have your units placed just draw a box around them so that they're all highlighted and then right click one of them then go down to where it says log and then go to where it says log classes to clipboard and click on that once you click it and the menu disappears that means the class names have been logged so delete those units and let's go back into the script and add the class names all right line 29 you're going to go to here you're going to copy all these guys and then you're going to press Control v to add the class names. Alright, so once you have the class names pasted, then what you need to do is add a quote before and after each class name. So after you put a quote, you're going to use a comma to separate from the next class name. And go here. So here we have one class name separated by a comma. Here's the next class name. Then you have the next class name, and then the next one, and then the last. At the end of the array here is no, no comma. So that will spawn four units for the blue four side. So remember west, line 28, west is the blue four side. And that's basically all you have to do. All right, so once you have your class names added, then just basically save it let's go back into the mission and let's test it out just one thing i want to point out to you guys is if your player unit is part of a squad that is led by an ai commander when you call for reinforcements the reinforcements are going to reinforce this squad they're going to reinforce the ai squad and the ai commander or squad leader what have you is going to be able to command that AI they're not going to reinforce you they're going to just reinforce the squad that you're part of now if you're by yourself and you're your own squad like I am here and you call for reinforcements the AI will seek you out and join your squad and you will be able to have command over them all right so now that you know that let's test this out let's get to safety here Reinforcements. Go to radio. Reinforcements. Message on the screen. Reinforcements. Reinforcements. 
see, now we got four guys that spawned. Alright, let's go.
Yeah, pull back. They're hitting us on both flanks. Just been here. Look. All right, guys. What was that? Tight. There's gonna be an enemy in here. Reload. Jackson, get up front. I know why the hell Styles is stopping. There he is. Clear. Enforcements on the way, check your map. There they are. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist. Ah! 